Bird duty first, dude. Gotta free the birds. What do you smell? I wanna see if he alerts to the smell of the raccoon or if he's so used to it now he is aware. We haven't told you guys, but we've had a new visitor out here. <laughs> he says, you're not getting him out without my help. Well, he is our bird herder and he's been doing a pretty good job. Oh, look at the little, some of them, you know, they still are getting all their adult feathers in <laughs> when they fluff up their necks because it's a little cooler. They look a little silly. Hey guys, welcome back to KNS Get Out. It is a chilly morning. It is a chilly morning. Here on Shady Acres. Fall, I think, might be here, here to stay, maybe, or do we have more 90s in the future? No, I think we're done with 90s for a while. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to start out this video by apologizing. I am not apologizing for what we showed in our last video. If you guys didn't see it, Shannon and I got to go witness something we had never seen before, something we've considered doing here, but it was processing meat birds, chickens specifically. If you did see the video and you got a weak stomach or you're here because of our Pitahula Bruno or Hercules or our goats and that threw you off and surprised you a little bit, I'm sorry that we didn't preface you before <laughs> at the beginning of the video just saying, hey, this might be a little disturbing. We don't see it that way anymore. So as you guys know, we've got 30 guineas, five adults, eight of the crazy eights and 17 the savvy 17 and for those of you that have been with us from the beginning of the channel the beginning of this journey city people at our core that's what we were anyway <laughs> uh, now clearly we've made a little bit of progress at becoming country people and shannon is now comfortable with these miniature dinosaurs these guys i was actually pleasantly surprised at how well she handled seeing the processing of the chickens I don't even know if she's, you've never watched a video of that or anything fully, have you? Maybe no, I hadn't bit. watched a video. I Guys, I'd never even cooked a whole chicken before. That was the first time I cooked a whole chicken. I've never cooked a turkey. Yeah, and we got- It was a whole new experience. We got split comments. So a lot of you are gonna be like, well, what are you, what are you talking about? Well, some of you shared your stories when you were kids doing that with your grandparents and brought up some really great memories and experiences. And so you thanked us and you loved watching us and our faces of like, oh yeah, you just do that, do this, do that, and then eat them. Guys, if you buy those chickens at Walmart, guess what? That same process on a larger scale happened. I promise, it had to. And I know that not all of you wanna know where your food comes from or see the process of it, and that's fine, but our channel is us sharing our experiences and things that we are thinking about doing for ourselves. So that's just how it is, sorry. <laughs> well, you guys know the world is a crazy place. We all, we don't have to say that. The election year, all that stuff and some of the horrific natural disasters that have been happening down on the coastline and everything and you know you just you never really know what the future holds so in a panic i know technically we could feed ourselves at least for a few days we'll figure it out <laughs> if we can catch the guineas and i don't want to be morbid about it guys but that's the whole point of having livestock that's how farms work and when the occasion comes up that you've got a good friend that says, hey, uh, I forgot to mention, but today we are processing birds and we'll start at this time, we'll go till this time, we'll do about this many, like you're either in or not. And we just woke up that morning, decided, you know what, let's go do it. So that was a great learning experience for us. And I tell you what, they were such a motivation. The whole family, the kids, you know, talk about, that's, that's all they know. Those kids are country kids and they're, leaps and bounds ahead of us so we were very grateful for the experience but i do apologize that at the beginning of the video we didn't say hey might see yucky stuff later <laughs> so for those commenters my bad no no birds are going to be harmed in the making of this video today so long bruno follows his training but we do need to get these guys out and grazing all right who wants to come out because i don't want to hear you talk Hi. so that's a girl you hear how she's got two syllables that's how you know that's a hen. They're starting to get their adult noises down. We let all of the crazy eight out. They were born June that's, 23rd. Is this Bob? That's a Bob right there. Broken Bob, did you sneak in here, buddy? <laughs> yeah, we know it's you. You got that You got that limpy leg. You're doing a lot better though, aren't you? Who's going out today? Gray. 
we've begun the process of getting these guys used to grazing. These are the Savvy 17. Oh, how many are you going out today? One, two, Goodness. three, four, five, six of them are out. Oh, there you go, come. get the Seven. eight out. And you can see some of the littles will sneak out with the crazy eight. eight. Come on, bird birds. I can't even tell who's who. Who's what? I don't even know which ones you are. We gotta go, 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 go. Is everybody getting out today? <laughs> Bruno, be good, buddy. You gotta leave him alone, okay? Get out, get out. The big birds, you, you, medium sized big bird. You guys need to go out. You, you know how to feed yourselves. Okay, leave him well, alone, Bruno. Guess what? That's everybody right there. That might be crazy. Bruno, man. Well, guys, this is the first time we've let everybody out. <laughs> it was a little unintentional, but I also didn't try real hard. Bruno, leave it. You can do it, buddy. We have been working diligently on this. That right there, that is the number one temptation for him. You guys need some worms? Gray's walking up to me like, hey, where's my worms? Leave it. Bruno, leave it. You can do it, buddy. You're doing great. Leave it alone. Hey, come over here and herd the rest in, dude. I just kind of did a, you get worms, you get worms, you get worms. <laughs> Bruno, man. Hey, come. Come out of there. That's a boy. Good boy. I know I tell you guys this a lot. For those of you who've been with us, you know this. If you're kind of new here, this is Bruno. He's our eight and a half month old Pitbull Catahoula. And we are learning so much about Pitbulls, Catahoulas, and just this type of dog. Talk about loyal, cuddly, loving, but also a hard worker. And Catahoulas are primarily, they are a herding dog. They, they can be a cattle dog, they can be a herder of whatever they need to be. And he comes by it very naturally. And it took a lot of work in the beginning. We had to do a lot of close watching. Hey! Hey look, they're gonna go back in. Yeah, get back in there. I don't need all of you out. Go on. Go on. That's still, I think that's... That's a bob and gray. Yeah, I don't think that's Broken Bob, though. Nope, that's Broken Bob. He got the funky walk. Come on, Gray. Come on, Bob. Yeah, get out of there. No, 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 no. Broken Bob, you're a bad influence. Bruno? I mean, I kind of think we just leave it open today. Do you want to let them all out, or do you want to put them back in? We can leave it open. Let's just see how it goes. Yeah. You're going to be over here anyway, right? The four to seven littles that have been coming out, they've actually been hanging with the crazy eight pretty well. My hope for them with Bruno is that he can utilize his herding skills. Like at the end of the day when it's dusk and it's coming up to dark, most all of them come over here to the run and we have to keep the door closed if we've got the Savvy 17 in there. <laughs> you just, he just busts up the big groups, you know? So we're hopeful that he can help us at the end of the day herd the birds back into the run because you've seen us look like crazy. Ah, ah, ah. No, sir. You've seen us act like crazy people with those sticks trying to get them in there. It's, it's pretty fun. And he does a good job at just doing lap after lap and kind of pushing them. And then I open the door and last night successfully, he pushed the five last birds that I was having a tough time getting into the run. He walked them right in. And he knew what he was doing because I praised him immediately as soon as he did it. And he looked up and celebrated with me. So we're making great progress. He's still young. We've got to keep a close eye on him because as active as these birds are and as quickly as they move, he gets tempted. So not only do we hope that Bruno's going to help us herd the birds and help get them put up at night, but we're also hoping that he's going to help keep predators away because I woke up the other night and it was, gosh, I don't even know, four o'clock in the morning or something like that because our camera alarm was going off nonstop. And I was like, man, what is happening? Lo and behold, 
a big old fat raccoon was out here checking out the bird run and we keep their worms out here and some food and stuff and so he was out here eating the worms looking for food all that and i really don't want him going in and trying to get to the birds i need an e-collar on gray he's in there kind of bullying a little bit for no reason it's because he gets picked on by the other adults yeah. and so now he's feeling like he can pick on the smaller ones time for justice yeah ideally you know if we could keep Bruno out, I mean, you just got to learn the system. We got to learn how the animals all get along. I've got a lot of training to do with Bruno because he wants to work. He just has to understand what that work looks like. Uh, and that raccoon, like Shannon said, there's plenty of grain and worms and stuff laying around on the outside. Bruno, leave it. And I got to be honest, typically raccoons do not intentionally target the birds themselves. They're trying to get to their food. Now, if he stumbled upon one of the birds, he's very likely to take its head off to be, I mean, that's just what they do. And then they leave them. They don't even eat them. So fortunately, everybody is using, even though there's 25 birds in here, they're all using the roosting bars. There's enough space on there. And because it's getting down in like the 40s and close to upper 30s tonight, they're cuddling. They're cuddling. They're getting all <laughs> fluffy and they get in there close. So the raccoon is not trying to get into the run yet, but once everything runs out on the outside, that's where he's going to go next. So I think I'm going to set a trap and uh, try to try to catch him. It would be funny if Bruno stumbled upon him one night. That raccoon would be no longer. I guarantee it. I don't know what he would do, honestly. He'd play with it until it stopped playing back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So all that being said, you guys know I've been making to-do lists for Kyle and he's just been checking those projects off one by one. Guess what the next project is on the list? Several of you have been waiting for it. It's time. Is it time? You gonna be my helper today? You gonna be my helper today, buddy? So as you guys know, I've been kind of on a roll getting back into building a little bit. And the Herc Hut in Tier 1 and Tier 2, which is kind of just the whole Herc Hut, is complete. And I gotta, I gotta admit, I gotta tattle on myself, this is how weird I am. I literally had a dream last night that I went down there and one of the pieces of OSB had been knocked off from the inside out. One of the 2x6s that Spruce picks on a lot had been jarred a little bit and moved. And I was like, no way, no way already. And I woke up and was like, oh, no, we're good. Herc Hut's good. You did a good job, Kyle. Go back to sleep. <laughs> so it is rewarding when we get those things done it's just a really good feeling of contentment so I want to stay on it but for the bird coop I've got to use a little bit different tools I'm not gonna screw all those two by fours together I like to use screws on things that the goats are gonna be playing on so that if I need to replace a piece a specific piece of lumber I can just unscrew it but I don't have power over here but I have a solution for that and I'm really excited about it so we're gonna run the air compressor and the nail gun and get to framing. So this will actually be the first day that we are gonna leave all the birds out. I think the Savvy 17 have seen the Crazy 8 do back and forths with the run in the morning, letting them out and then coming back of an evening, plus having let four to seven of the littles out about three or four days in a row. There's my herder. I'm hopeful that at the end of the day, they will all kind of get together. That's a boy, Bruno. You just calmly tell them where to go. And they'll just come back to the run. And then hopefully my calm <laughs> pitahula will do this right here. And I can keep working with him to teach him how to get them into the run. He also typically does a little better as the day progresses and he's burned some of his energy. This is the first outing and the first meeting of him and the birds today. And so he always has to get his bearings a little bit. And if those littles would just stop jumping and fluttering like that, that would help. But they're still just young and don't know who to trust. And I've got to admit, for a high, high energy dog like him, this is a great way for him to burn some of that energy and stimulate his brain while he's doing it. It's actually uh, 
very important that dogs can have this activity, especially workers like him. Bruno man, it's okay, buddy. Great, now we're gonna have guinea poo all over the cabin. This is actually really fascinating for me and Shannon. Uh, so you're seeing it right now, but having all these guys out, there's so many of them that they will likely not stay. I mean, actually they will undoubtedly not stay in a big group of all 30 birds. And so we'll see how the clicks kind of divide. And right now the five adults are in that bunch right there, which is mostly the crazy eight and some of the savvy 17, the littles. So we kind of refer to them as the littles being the 17, the mediums being the crazy eight, and then the adults are just the adults or the big birds. Those are all savvy 17ers right there. <laughs> That's our bird army. Individual bird herds. And yes, when you live the country life and you're out here in this beautiful weather and this greenery and the fall is setting in, it's a very enjoyable time. Nice and cool but studying these birds and seeing how they work and training Bruno to live in and amongst them and not be against them. It's all part of it and we enjoy it. Okay, so I'm kind of starting to rethink this idea of letting them all out and <laughs> having all the birds out at once. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you think about it, it's not happened before. So I feel like no matter when it happens, this is what has to happen. That's true. Bruno just wants to be a big part of it keep yeah. them all together yeah I don't, I don't know what the indication is I, I feel like once they stop jump fluttering like right in his face there's some kind of familiarity that they all feel and he kind of comes off the pushing non-stop but that obviously hasn't happened yet gray don't be a bully just because you're bigger than them I know you guys aren't going to be able to hear it, but you can hear their little feet pitter-patter across the ground when they take off running. He's kind of like, this is my pool and you guys are not getting in it. I'm yeah. staking it as my own. This is us training Bruno while Bruno's training his birds. I do have to admit, guys, it, I'm very shocked. I didn't think at this young of an age we do use an e-collar for training. Uh, but we've done it the way you're supposed to, but he's doing a great job with he these really birds. Is. And even when he gets tempted, he will kind of snip a little bit. But like I've talked about, he can control his bite grip down to the, a single PSI. He knows exactly how hard he's biting. We've tested it. Do you guys it. know what PSI means? It's like pressure per square inch. Like PSI, like that's their bite strength. If it's 400 PSI, it's pounds per square inch. Pounds per square inch. I didn't know what it it's was. It's like your so air pressure. I'm just throwing it out your there. Your <laughs> air pressure in your tire, you know, if it's got to go to 35, it's 35 psi pounds per square inch. Okay, there we go. Okay, well, I know that we have some very hungry goats. So, do you want to maintain the herd and make sure Bruno doesn't? Yeah, I'll continue the training and monitoring him. I don't think we can take our eyes off of him just yet with our bird army of 30 birds all free on our land for the first time. That's a lot of birds. Yeah, we're sitting here. <laughs> it's a little surreal, guys. There are a lot of birds around us right now. And yeah. It's exciting, but as you guys know, we've these are three different age generations and we would have done it a little differently, but now we know. I'm on 100 birds now. This is beautiful. Look look at the bird. I mean, we're just, not getting 100 birds. 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 Yeah, it would smell really bad out yeah. here. Hi, big guy. Hi. Oh, hi, buddy. I love you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I don't need kisses. Hi, buddy boy. Your paw prints are enough to claim me. Yeah. Hi, big bubba. No, Hercules does not get neglected. Hi, big fella. Oh. Hi, big fella. Well, that's the Herc Hut in tier one and tier two that I just built last week, got painted up. I did have to pull the ramp out. That's the ramp. And I am going to work on the bird coop first, at least get it to where my subfloor is ready for frame walls. And then I just plan to kind of clean that up and sand it down. It's pretty stinking solid, but they've broken some of the Ow. treads. 
I literally so be... just got a thorn in my thumb from Spruce. He had a thorn in his fur. And he shared it with you. Yeah, How he kind did. Of him? Hurry, you're supposed to get spider webs for me, man. <laughs> hey, could you uh, teach Bruno a few tricks about how not to eat the birds? Because you let him come in here with you and you just watch him and hang out with him. You kind of write the rules and tell him what they can and cannot do, don't you? It is absolutely adorable at night if we're relaxing up in the cabin. Still got Bruno out, haven't put him down for bed yet. And Hercules knows how to speak Bruno and when to tell Bruno, hey, come out here. I'm gonna have you run that direction and bark. I'm gonna go this direction and bark. And they coordinate their efforts extremely well. And it is just a proud moment. I've got to admit, it really brings a level of comfort and security having these two dogs out here with us and the 30 guineas. Those guineas alert at anything and these guys speak guinea so they kind of know when it's uh, something to actually be alarmed about. It's incredible guys. We just love witnessing it and being a part of it of course. See, like that right there didn't alert them in any way. They're like, yep, no, they're just being guineas, making noise. Oh, they're going down into Goatville. Bruno had to take a bathroom break, and uh, sometimes when they're a little intense, you gotta, you just gotta roll it off, you know? <laughs> but this is when he comes out a little hyper at times, so I wanna make sure. Good boy, Bruno, man. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe that's the dog we let up in our laps, cuddle with us, we love on him, and he rolls in poop that's filled with goat poo. Bruno, man. That's boy. All right, bloom babies. That's boy, you're okay. <laughs> Savvy 17, got a little too close to little Mario. The goats really don't respond to them or react to them whatsoever. Mostly because they've been out grazing before many, many times and the adults could be in and amongst them and they would actually just graze together. So the goats, I think mama kind of went at one one time just because she thought it was gonna eat some of the leaves that she was trying to eat and maybe even spruce. But other than that, they don't care. Hey, I did something for you yesterday. Yeah? Something you might have been complaining about for a long time. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, when I used these four by four posts, they were actually really fresh from the lumber yard. And so I didn't really let them dry out all the way. And of course, weather with a metal gate and wood like that, it all shrinks and expands over time. Needless to say, this was up here. So when you would go to close this gate, you had to put a lot of downward pressure on it. And so I just relocated it and it was kind of difficult because <laughs> it wanted to ride back into the holes it was in. So I was like, you know what? We'll just hang it off a little bit and it's gonna work just fine. Thank you. You're welcome. I feel like Bruno's defending his dirt pile right now. Yeah, he shares it fairly well with them as long as they respectfully get out of it whenever he wants it. <laughs> oh my gosh, they just... They've been down in Goatville. They actually... All five adults broke off, they're together up there. The crazy eight were over here by themselves with Bruno and all 17, that's all Savvy 17 right there together. And they just came back over and found these eight and we're like, oh, hey, miss you guys. I think why he does that this is just a little bit of guesstimation here. But if you remember, Bruno did a lot better at laying down immediately when Herc would approach him. And I think that's kind of what Herc is looking for and Bruno's just kind of testing his limits. So we're in no rush to forcefully get them out together. This has been an amazing experience for the two of them and it's just a lot safer. Herc got along with Nala. She was our city dog who came to the country with us. He loved Nala and every time they could be together, 
he'd hop around like a little puppy and make that noise that you hear, the little whimper. And to hear him doing that again for Bruno is a really good sign. But Bruno is not quite ready. We've got more to do with him. And I just know how easy it is to trigger Hercules into work mode and how hard it is for Bruno to turn off play mode. So we're not quite there yet, but they get a lot of interaction down here and it is so fascinating to watch. Nobody. Bruno and Hercules claim my beard throughout the day. <laughs> I come in here and Herc will sniff the bottom of my beard and lick it a little bit and rub his head on it. I go back out there and give Bruno his praises for being good, most of the time. And he comes right in, licks my beard, sticks his head up on it, and they just go back and forth all throughout the day. <laughs> oh, Hair Bear, eyeballing the Herc, man. He wants that food. You ain't getting it, buddy. Remember when you got sprayed with the hose a couple days ago because you, <laughs> you snuck in there? Uh-huh. No, we do not spray him often, and no, we will definitely not spray him when it's cool out but it will hurt him if he eats too much of that dog food. We've been down that road before. So we gotta do everything we can to keep him from doing that. Watch out, babies. Come on, guys. I've been debating purchasing another one of those big feeders like that. They are not cheap, not even close. But I also know I could very easily make a long feeder. It would have to be a little beefed up just because these guys are aggressive at the hay feeder, but getting them spread out across different feeders I think will kind of diminish some of the arguing and chirping that goes on between them while they're trying to eat their hay. Hi, Cooper, man. How are you, buddy? Yeah, you like your attention, don't you? Oh, <laughs> you're not ready for me to give the love to the goats yet. Dude. Still all for you, huh? Hey, can I tell them about your spot we found? Look at this spot. Right? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It takes a little work to get this guy going because he's so strong. You really got to push and scratch. But he enjoys it. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. There it is. Oh yeah, just get it all dusty in here. I know big guy. I know big guy. What you think, girl man? Oh, still not ready for that. All attention on Herc right now. No goats. Oh really? Oh really? Yeah. You silly boy. Yeah. Um, Spruce, you're making it real weird, dude. Do you have to do that right there? I feel sorry for you. I'm sorry. He's so disrespectful. <laughs> Super dog. Are you posing? <laughs> oh, I just love you, big guy. Just love you, big fella. Yes, sir. Yes, I know these big monster paws of yours. You handsome. I'm smiling. Did I give you one yet? <laughs> Gotta be sneaky when you're dealing animal crackers in the pen. Yeah, I know. You're gonna have quite the following here in a second. <laughs> yeah, you know she's got more to deliver. No, I don't have any, so you can just move on. Look, I got nothing, guys. Actually, maybe it's better if you stay here with me while she tries to sneak them to the other. I don't have any. Yep, nope. I know, you guys already had yours. The others get them too, okay? I think she has to give like 12 to Hercules on her way. <laughs> I have two left for Bruno. I already got you yours. Now you said you got two more. You're not for you. You're I got, got yours. plenty of room. Oh, sorry Christ. guys. Weed you mad at me? Herc, you got yours. I know you still smell them. 
How's it going? It's good. I had a Look helper. Look at this. Yeah, I had a helper that uh, when I laid the OSB down just to even get it test fitted, he got right up on it and laid down. Oh, that was sweet of him. He just wanted to add a little extra weight for you. That's the word, sweet. Yeah. Pretty cute helper you have there. I got two of them. Yeah, I'm, I don't know that would call me a helper. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he uh, is not afraid of the nail gun. You can really, he stays right there, wants to get in there, and just, you think when you're going to fire it, he's going to jump back. No, not even a little bit. We're going to get you a pair of safety glasses, man. Deal. Your very own safety glasses. And some work boots and work gloves. Okay. Maybe a tail tucker so it don't get stuck in his saw. You probably need a tool belt while we're at it, too, Ooh, then. Yeah, construction collar. I got all the ideas, Mom. <laughs> well, thanks for making some progress on this. Hey, you're welcome. So, we are in the latter part of the afternoon right now, and I'm happy to report. I don't know that all Savvy 17 are right over there, but the birds, all 30 birds, have pretty much been in and around the goat pen and Goatville today and making friends with Hercules. They were napping with the goats and, yeah. I don't know, totally went a little differently than we thought. And they did quiet down just a little bit. Now that I'm saying this, they're going to go off. But I think we're, we'll see how this goes at dusk as to how easy it is to get the 25 littles and mediums. You'll have into a big helper though. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be a, an eventful moment. We might just do what we did today and just keep getting them out every day and yeah. putting them up. And I'll keep working on the bird run. And here before too long, when it gets real cold, They'll have a nice wind block they can come and sleep in here. That'd be nice. Yeah, or Bruno's gonna have a massive doghouse. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Still waiting on my Bruno barn. Look, I mean, look at look how cute I am. I can just look over the whole land. My herc's over there. It is perfect, Mom. We're going to get you a watchtower. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna see if I can get a little further on this, and we'll uh, surely have this bird coop done in at least six or eight months from now, maybe. <laughs> Shouldn't be a big deal. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm gonna stay on task until this one's done and then move on to the next, right? Yes. That's what we've learned out here. Yes. Guys, we love and appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming along on this journey with us. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. All right, Foreman. Have I been working hard enough? Am I allowed to take a break for a minute? Oh, you're looking at the boss lady, the supervisor. <laughs> uh huh. You know who ultimately makes those decisions, don't you? You're looking like a big boy there, buddy boy handsome big boy. <laughs> Is that tickle?